All right, now the next step is we're going to take the fillets off of the fish. These are really, really beautiful pieces of fish, or whole fish, I should say. You can see how bright and clear the eyes are. Yeah, and um, this is actually one of my favorite fish. Yeah, uh, this and This and halibut. Mm. Just the texture and the mild flavor of it. It's uh, a little sweet. Yeah, it's it's really nice. So, um, you know, when you when you get these, if you can get these at this store, whole mm -hmm. a lot of you know fish. Where um, do you markers. get yours from? So we we actually buy our fish from Samuel and Sons. We love Samuel. So, and these are coming off the Carolina coast right now. Nice. And the season just started a few weeks right. ago. And they last up until they, the, summer, you'll, the you'll be able to go all summer long. And then as, as the uh, season progresses, mm -hmm. it comes further, further up the coast. So into uh, uh, Jersey and then Connecticut and Rhode Island. And Great. so that pretty much continues through the end of October. Um, so all we're gonna do is we're gonna take both of these fillets off. Mm -hmm. And what you want to do is, now these fish, you have to be real careful because if so you can the feel it, there, there are some scales on mm -hmm. here. So you, 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 you definitely want to, um, you know, you take the back of your knife and you okay. just want to pull and you're wow. going to see them pop off. Yeah, so they they're going to, yeah, they're going to, they are going to fly everywhere. But what we're going to do is we're not going to cook it with the skin on. We're going right. to take the skin off so, so you we don't, don't have to take the scales off. Correct. Um, so we're just going to take the, the bass and we're going to cut through the belly here, right around the fin. All right. I think the fact that it has scales on it still really speaks to its freshness. Absolutely. And Samuels has the freshest fish that you can buy in the Philadelphia area. And then we're going to go right through the top here, right by the dorsal fin. We're going to come straight down. Mm -hmm. And then what you want to do is just basically angle your knife. You want to angle your knife in a way that is not going to cut through the flesh, but it's running right alongside the bone. Do you use a special kind of a knife for this? So you can use, this is semi-flexible. Yeah. It's a little flexible. If you have a, a more flexible knife, that's great. Mm -hmm. I pretty much use this knife for everything. All right. Um, and we're going to come right through down to the tail. Do you use a boning knife? For this? Uh, a boning knife is a little too... Um, too flexible? No, it's not flexible enough. Oh, okay. So, you know, if you can get a flexible filleting knife, filleting knife, that would be the best. All right. So this is a little easier to fillet than like a flounder because you just go straight across in one, Correct. one swoop. And you don't have to do the two sides. And the, you know, the great thing about it is if you just let you know, when, when you get that feeling when you're hitting a bone and you just let the knife glide, mm. you'll be able to, um, the filet will come right off. And you've really gotten, I mean, all of the meat, you went right up against the bone, you can see. It's a great meaty flesh. So then we're going to just take the skin off. And we do, most mm -hmm. of the time, cook the uh, bass with the, with the skin on. Um, we make it crispy and it it's almost crispy. gives it gives it like that, you know, crispy bacon kind oh, of yeah. texture to it. A lot of the nutrients are in the skin as well. Absolutely. All right, and then you have a small line of bones that run up through here. So okay. we're just going to just make sure you yep. get those all out. And there, there's, they come right through here. Do you ever cook these whole? Um, I don't. We always cook them for lay, and that's mm -hmm. just because of the volume of business that we do. Oh, sure. So we need to have uh, quicker cooking times mm -hmm. um, so our guests don't wait so long. Um, so that's it. So we have the filet and we're going to go and we'll stew the other side. Now, if you can't find black bass, do you recommend something else to substitute? Sure. You can use, you know, if you can get red snapper, that's mm -hmm. fine. Mm -hmm. um, you know, even, you know, I'm, an, I'm only saying this because it's my favorite fish, is halibut. Sure. You know, any white, mild uh, fish would be... Um, Something with a firmer texture. Correct. To it. All right. All right, so we're just going to come along right up here. Right under the gill. So it's pretty much the exact same thing we did on the other side. Correct. It's easy enough. It gives you practice. If you don't do the first fillet right, you always have the second fillet. I recommend buying 15, <laughs> then you'll perfect it by right? the 15th Right? You'll get at one. least one good. Okay. And do you keep the bones and, and the head so and you can do make, other things you with that? You absolutely can make a fume, mm -hmm. uh, fish fume with the, um, with the bones from this fish. Um, makes a really nice uh, gelatinous mm. uh, fume, so absolutely. And then you use that for chowders or you can even make a sauce with it. Oh yeah, totally. Okay, so we're just gonna trim this up a little bit. Nice. You have that right. little bit of pink in the flesh too, it's so pretty. And how much does a whole fish weigh? 
So these are uh, two and a half pound fish, mm -hmm. and you can get them one and a half, two, two and a half, and up to about three pounds. They don't get much bigger than that. Does it affect the flavor or the texture when they're bigger or smaller? Mm -hmm. Uh, not really. It's okay. it's pretty consistent uh, across the board. Good. Off. So we have our our two black bass fillets. Is going to cook really fast. So you want to save that until the very very end. Correct. That's have that's all your, of your last step. Prepared. Yep. And we're going to take a little bit of neutral oil again. Mm-hmm. Could you use olive oil and extra virgin here? Or so I wouldn't use it? an extra virgin olive oil. Mm -hmm. You just use something neutral because the fish is so delicate yeah. and in flavor. And you know, extra virgin olive oils when you heat them up, it totally changes the composition of the dish. And you just want something neutral: safflower, sunflower, grapeseed. Okay. Anything very neutral, non-GMO. Butter. I highly recommend. Could you use butter, or would it burn? Well. We have butter and cream in the yeah. sauce, so no Too butter much. for this. Yeah, keep for it, this. Yep. Keep it simple, Nicole. I'm gonna take the uh, bass and we're going to uh, we're gonna saute it real quick. Can you season that a little bit first? Yep, a little salt and pepper, and mm -hmm. we're gonna season it on the other side. Not smoking hot. Okay, so not a hot pan, but not too hot. Right, and we're gonna season both sides because we eat both sides. Sure do. And that is going to cook. Really quick. Um, and the fish spatula. Oh, I have one right down here. Wonderful. There. Now that cooked up so, so fast. Right? It's it's almost cooked through. You can see how it's already opaque around the edges. We're just going to shut that off and we're going to just gently, very delicate, we're just going to gently Gorgeous. flip those over. Just a little bit of color on that. Right. And we're so just nice. going to finish with a tiny little bit of butter. Tiny, just at the very end. So I knew we'd get a little butter just in a little at bit. some point. Just a little bit. Gonna baste it a little bit. Mm. It really doesn't take much. This fish cooks so fast. Really, really did. And you want it all the way cooked through, or can it be just slightly under? It can be slightly under, and we're gonna pull it off right now. So we're ready wow. to plate. Wow, that really, like, literally took a minute. Let me get the plate. So we have the. They're so bright and green still. You didn't cook those to death. No, and they'll be a, they'll have a little bit of texture left mm -hmm. in them. They won't be mushy. And Is then it, we I, also we also dehydrate these and make chips, ooh. so it adds, adds the extra I dimension to the those. dish. And we're just going to take this sauce. Like and you see how it's not too thick? It's sauce yeah, consistency. Yeah, oh, it's just a sauce, totally. So we're just going to take that, mm. and not too much. You want to complement the dish and not overpower it. Really let that fish speak to it, speak for itself. When you have such nice fresh fish like this, you just don't need to do a whole lot. Okay. Beautiful. And we're just gonna put a little bit of acidity. Mm -hmm. And that's hot. And we'll garnish for spring coming up. Get some pea shoots here. Pins. Give it a nice black bass. It really looks great. Let's bring it over to the table.